everyone. Hi everybody, Mr. Higgins here, and we are going to do the updated version of our YouTube banner project, now using Photopea. This project is going to be broken up into five parts. Number one, intro and student examples. Number two, save a large background image. Number three, collect your PNGs and text. Number four, putting it all together in Photopea, where I'm gonna go over size and a few skills. Number five, finishing up and adding your banner to YouTube. This project is interesting because you are going to be designing with two different sizes in mind. This might not make sense at first, but when you see the student examples, I think it will. So what you're gonna do first is you are going to design just this smaller center area, and that's going to be your general YouTube banner on a cell phone or on a computer. But because YouTube requires that all the YouTube banners show on TVs, that's gonna be the big background we're gonna put on afterwards in part five. Notice that the background is very simple, and then all the PNGs that she brought in were consistent, they had that style, it was all black and white. And the second one, also all black and white. This one, very heavy red theme, celebrities, uh, lots of social media, it looks great. This one, very purple, also with all black PNGs, which looks really good. Sometimes you can do a theme, like a Overwatch theme, or a lip gloss theme for your YouTube banner, or BTS theme, or... PUBG theme or weird internet cats theme. This one's really good. She brought in a little photo of herself from Facebook. And right here, I just like the uh, the Supreme Simpsons. Right here, just crazy internet memes all over the place. Here, he brought in some art that he did. And I actually really encourage you, if you have any art that you wanna use, you could take a photo of it and you could bring it into your YouTube banner. This last one here, I had a student last year who really wanted to use some of her Instagram photos. And I made a special video on how you can bring in your Instagram photos, but turn that normal square photo into a PNG. And I guess that should be linked above. Uh, hopefully you click that and that'll show you how to take yourself out of an Instagram photo or a Facebook photo if you wanna add yourself to your YouTube banner. Part two is save a large background images in Google. I'm gonna click background. And the most important thing is I go tools, size, large, because we really want a large background that looks very high quality. You're wanting something at least a thousand. I might go for galaxy background. I want something really high quality. So I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna let it load. I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna save image as, and then I am going to go to my Google Drive file stream. I'm gonna go in zero computer science, and then I'm gonna create a folder, new folder, project to YouTube banner, and I'm gonna save my background. That's also where we're gonna save all our PNGs for the next Part. For part three, what we need to do is collect our PNGs and text. Like I said, there's that video that you can look at on how to convert photos and, and save photos from Instagram or from Facebook. Or you can just do that normal thing on Google Images where you search for something cool and then you go tools, color, transparent, you open it up and you can save it as a PNG. Right click, save image as. So you can convert normal photos to PNGs or you can just save them by searching color transparent. That's up to you. What you need to do though is save 10 PNGs and then you need to make three pieces of text. So you know how to make text on Sketch.io. The other website that you could use, cool text. If I wanted to say, subscribe now, try to make it a little bit bigger, maybe like 130, something like that. You can change the color. You can also change the color later in Photopea, but then you just save. Click save and you've got your text. So when you have three pieces of text and 10 PNGs and your high quality background, we're ready to put it all together in Photopea. We're gonna do that right now in part four, putting it all together in Photopea. So when we jump into Photopea, what we wanna do is we're gonna click new project. When we open up Photopea, we wanna check our size. It's 1855 by 423. So in Photopea, we're gonna do 1855 by 423, click create. And now this is what our canvas is gonna look like. First, we're gonna bring in our background. So I'm gonna open in place. I'm gonna grab our big high quality background. We're gonna drag it out. Remember, if you hold down shift, that'll make sure that it doesn't distort. And then you're gonna to start to bring in your PNGs. So I have both photos of myself and celebrities, and I'm just gonna bring in a ton of those right now.
All right, so I just brought in a lot of random photos and PNGs of celebrities that I converted using Remove Background. I made some text with cool text and Sketch.io, brought in some social media icons, and now I just wanna go over a few basic design techniques that you can use to kind of make your YouTube banner even better. Symmetry, and I think a really great example is this one, right? So see how she kind of duplicated and flipped these? So how you do that, if you wanna create symmetry in your banner, is say I'm gonna grab Billy Elish right here. I'm gonna move her up so she's on top, move her to the side. Right click on it and I can duplicate that layer. So now there's two of them. Now if I put it back over here, she's in the same position. But if I go to edit, transform, flip horizontally, that will flip her so she's opposite. So you can start to create symmetry and some really interesting design. Me and my dad are right there. Um, so I'm gonna move her in the back to put her behind. So, so now we got her right but behind me and my dad. On this one, I might pull her down too, so she's behind ladies up there, right? So you wanna make sure you move your layers around so everything's looking the way you want it to look. You can also change colors. So I have the subscribe now text, right? And it's gold. I'm gonna bring that up so we can kind of see it a little more. Um, so I'm, the gold's okay, I like that, but I might wanna see if another color works even better. So how to change that is I'm gonna to go to image adjustment Go down to hue and saturation. And I can move this over here and see, wow, it's gold. If I change this, be able to change it to green or say there's that kind of purple pink in the background. When I'm ready to save my YouTube banner, which means I have three pieces of text and 10 PNGs, what I'm gonna do is go to file, I'm gonna save as a PSD, and I'm gonna make sure that I'm in project to YouTube banner, and I'm gonna save this as project two. YouTube banner small. After we've saved our project as a PSD, a Photoshop file that'll preserve our layers, now we wanna save it as a PSD, which will just be a normal photo. So go to file, export as a PNG. We're gonna make sure that our quality is set up to 100%. We're gonna click save. We're gonna name that as the same thing. So I'm gonna do project two, YouTube banner small PNG. So we got it saved as a PNG. Now we're gonna close everything out here and we're gonna reopen it now. So I'm gonna go open image from computer and we should look around and we should be able to find our small PNG. So now what we wanna do is we're gonna to go to image canvas size, left click canvas size, and we're gonna set that over to the TV resolution for our YouTube banner, 2560 by 1440. Click okay. And what we wanna do is zoom out a little bit. So what we wanna do now is we're gonna click our zoom icon here. We're gonna right click and then we're going to left click fit the area. So when we click fit the area, it's gonna show us the entire banner. And what we're gonna do is do an open in place of our original background, the big one. And we're gonna fill that space up. I'm gonna hit enter. And now our last step is that we're gonna add a drop shadow to our original YouTube background. So we're gonna go to blending options. Gonna go down here and click drop shadow. Best to probably change that to black, but you can do any color you want. Can kind of mess around with this and then I'm gonna click okay. So you notice it's kind of, looks like it's hovering when it's got a really good drop shadow. Now you can also add anything you want to the, uh, the outside here. Some people really liked adding a lot of extra crazy stuff, but generally speaking, you can just leave it blank. So you go to file, you can save as a PSD, and you can name that project to YouTube banner final, and then we can save as a PNG. So export as a PNG, and same thing, this is gonna be your YouTube banner final and if you want to add it as your YouTube banner you just go over to YouTube click on your icon here manage your channel and then you can just click in the back here and you can drag and drop it in it'll kind of show you what it'll look like on all your different platforms you can adjust the crop if you want to I'm gonna click select uh, if you don't want to add it to your YouTube that's totally cool I'm super excited to see what y'all make and yeah let's get to it all right peace Bye.